Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I am going to show you how to make one of these adorable what I call sand art candles. This is made with granulated wax that comes in all these different amazing colors and it is the cutest little craft. It's so fun, so easy and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. For this project you'll need self-standing wicks, granulated wax, a beeswax sheet, votive or glass cups, exacto knife, cutting board, glue dots or putty, scissors, and a spoon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our wick in. And this is where you would use either putty or a glue dot. And this is a self-standing wick. What it has is a little base. It's got its own little base. And then the wick comes out of the base so that it stands up on its own. Um, these were all purchased from a company that I'll give you the link down below called Candle Wick. And they have everything that you need for making candles. OK, I'm going to pull this off of here. This is my glue dot. And just place that right down in the center of my votive so that it, oop, so that it stands. And that's just going to keep it in place, there we go, while we make our candle. Now, you can use your candle, your granulated candles in um, a bowl like this with a spoon. It's very, very easy. The only thing is that if you are doing with this with like a large group, it could get very messy very quickly. And so what I like to do, because I'm a party planner and I'm always you know, catering to a ton of people, I like to make it a little neater. And so I actually use these saucing containers, um, these little bottles, these saucing bottles are great. And what I do is I just cut the top part. Usually the top part is about like that tall. I cut it right near the base and that makes a nice big hole. And then you can just have your guests pour it from here and it just keeps it much more contained. So now you see you can shake it and you can get little layers going here. It's just like sand art. And one of the fun things to do is you can put it in, put in a goodly amount here and we can go sideways with it. So we start to get like a little angle. Give it a little tap, 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 tap. That always just kind of evens things out there. And then come back with your other color and that'll fill it in on the other side there. And you want to fill it up almost to the top. And give it a little tap so that everything kind of settles. Now, here's something that I discovered when I was working on these. When I got my first kit, it just came with the granules. And you were expected to then you know, cut the wick, light it, and then let it go, right? And it was awesome and great and super. But the problem is I was doing these at workshops where people were taking these away with them. And you can see what would happen if they accidentally dropped it, everything would come out or it would all get mixed up like that. So to keep that from happening, what I discovered is if I took a beeswax sheet, just like the ones that I used for my rolled candles, and then I just took an extra votive and traced around the top here on the outside with an exacto knife. And it's important to do it on the outside because you want a little bit extra. You don't want it to be tight in there. You actually want it to be a little bit bigger. And then you can just pop this off of here. And then just make a hole right in the middle for the wick. So watch your fingers when you do this. Just make a hole right in the middle. Slide the disc of wax right over and then gently push it down in. And as you push it in, you can use your fingers. It'll warm up. And as it warms up with your fingers, it'll get nice and malleable. And you can get it right in there nice and tight. There we go. And then we can cut off the candle wick like that. And see, even if I turn it upside down, it's totally fine. It's not going to go anywhere. And that's also going to protect your beautiful design that you've made because it keeps it from shifting. And then when you light it, 
no problems whatsoever. It'll just burn right through the top and then burns right through the crystals. That's all it takes to make your very own granulated sand art candle. And as you can see, because of that beeswax, it's not going anywhere. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com. And I will tell you, they burn beautifully. Mm -hmm.